two months ago, I have done a review on this Akliam PD4. You may have seen it, watch it. If you haven't watched it, I would highly recommend that you watch it because uh, the review that I'm doing right now is a sequel to that particular review because what I have in my hand right now is the successor of Akliam PD4, which is the PD4 Plus here in my hand. Okay, now let's just have a look at these two dongle side by side. As you can see here, physically they're pretty much identical, I would say. The chassis itself, the size, dimension, the weight even, with some differences of course. And you would notice that this PD4 Plus now comes with this glass, which will allow you to have a look at what's inside. And also it comes in black color now. And also they here, notice this cable, it is thicker as well in construction, braided cable here. Otherwise, the rest of the physical element of this two dongle are identical. Look at the button here, the three buttons, and this high and low gain button here on the other side, as well as the audio jacks, 4.4 mm balance and 3.5 mm single ended. As you can see there, yet another Cyrus Logic CS43131. I can safely say that 80% of the dongles released this year has been built on this very popular Cyrus Logic, especially CS43 series. Okay, but the thing is, what's special about these two, PD4 and PD4 Plus, is that they come with dual Crystal crystal oscillator, which Aklam claim to be unique to them. And CS43131 typically comes with the resolution of PCM 384 kHz with 32-bit and capable of DSD256. Power wise, I would say that, you know, just like most other dual Cyrus Logic CS43131, you can expect this PD4 Plus, just like PD4, to offer maximum of 4 VRMS of power from the 4.4 mm balance in high gain mode and as low as 1 VRMS from the 3.5 mm single ended in low gain mode. And at least now we also have the rating for it, which is rated at 310 milliwatt. Signal to noise ratio is rated at 125 dB, which is quite impressive, I would say. And I have always mentioned this, anything above 100 dB of signal to noise ratio tend to be really quiet. And true enough, I have tested it with hybrid IEM under 16 ohm with sensitivity above 120. No issue at all. I am not hearing any kind of floor noises. Before I proceed any further, as usual, I would like to clarify and declare what are the sort of item which I have used to test this Akliam PD4 Plus. And as you can see here, I have with me Tanjim Zero 4.4 mm balance edition, which is something which I modified myself. And this uh, Atimotic ER2XR single micro DD. I spent a lot of time using this Akliam PD4 Plus on this Hidis MP145 magnetic planner and of course my favorite this year which is Final Audio A5000 and last but not least you see there at the back Fostec T40 RP MK3 magnetic planner the hardest headphone which I have in my possession at 91dB to test this Akliam PD4 this is taken from my previous review of Akliam PD4 and if you have seen the video, I compare it directly with this iBuso DC04 Pro side by side because all three of them runs identical deck inside, which is dual CS43131. So it makes sense to compare all three of them side by side. It will be easier for me to explain what are the differences and what you can expect from them. So let's start from dynamic presentation. You would notice that I have marked there for PD4, it offer more energy and more aggression when compared to iBuso DC04 Pro. Okay, this PD4 would appear a bit more euphonic with the energy itself, the presentation of the sound. And I am happy to say that, you know, from that point onward, when I listen to this PD4 Plus compared directly with this, they are pretty much uh, retaining the same sort of presentation, but this one now appear to be less aggressive, less euphonic, and I would even say that it is 
offering a bit more of maturity to the sound itself. As with many other Cyrus Logic CS43131 dongle released recently, you can expect far-reaching extension on both end of the frequency. So there's no issue there. I can guarantee you all three of them are performing at the very best that you can expect from this form factor. Okay, and this one element which is very important to me, sound timber. Okay, let's just go back to PD4. I have noted this in my previous review that this PD4, as noted there, more focus on hi-fi energetic tuning. So, meaning to say that, you know, it is less organic, at least to my ear, with my listening equipment, more on the hi-fi clean sound sort of approach, analytical, but in the process, it sacrificed a bit on the analog element to it. The good news is that when I compare directly side by side with this PD4 Plus now, I am happy to say that I can feel that there is an element of analog sound to it. So there's a bit of moderation, balance between hi-fi and analog sound. Dynamic presentation itself, all the way from mid-range, upper frequency to lower frequency. I have noted there, largely, closer to neutral target. So what is closer to neutral target? The reason that I'm saying that, because when I listen to this PD4 for the first time, I can sense that there's a bit of coloration to the sound itself, the way it presents the dynamic. There's still transparency, but there's also a hint of boosting in the frequency range itself. But when I listen to this Aklian PD4 Plus now, I am happy to say that this exhibit a bit more of transparency to the sound itself. So it is closer to neutral, almost as good as this iBasso DC04 Pro when it comes to that element. PD4 and even iBasso DC04 Pro, all three of them, you can expect wide open sounding soundstage presentation. It feel open, it felt spacious, even when subjected to driving highly demanding headphone like my Postec T40 RP MK3 there. So no issue at all, definitely. And when it comes to technical aspect, the next one, which is the resolution, this is definitely analytical, very resolving, with micro and micro detail, pretty much on equal term with the other two. When attached to my phone here, Xiaomi Mi 90, 4000 mAh of battery, running Hebe music app in USB exclusive mode, driving 32 ohm of IEM from this 4.4 mm balance port here in high gain mode, this Aklium PD4 Plus was able to score 13 hours of runtime from 100% to zero, okay? In contrast, surprisingly, this original PD4 scored higher at 15 hours. As for driving power, just like the predecessor Aklium PD4, you can expect the same from this PD4 Plus. When I tested them side by side, all three of them, they exhibited identical sort of performance when it comes to driving power. So no issue at all driving this very difficult to drive magnetic planner of Fostec T40 RP MK3. I have shown you earlier the type of IEM and headphone which I have used to test this extensively. I have also tested this PD4 Plus with the rest of my IEM collection which can range anywhere from neutral to being bright to being bassy, warm, you name it, everything in between. I am happy to say that the synergy factor for this PD4 Plus is really good. It has improved from what PD4 has offered before, which I mentioned there, kind of a bit, you know, not so suitable if paired with something which is relatively brighter. But PD4 Plus addressed that issue. The only cons which I'd like to highlight for this PD4 Plus is pretty much similar to what I have mentioned pertaining to PD4. You see here, this USB Type-C female port when attached with this cable, it is already loose like this, out of the box, okay? And the same can be observed from this PD4 Plus as well because they are practically using the same chassis still. And this is something which is not fixed yet. But then again, I can also say the same for this iBuzz ODC04 Pro. After a while, get loose a bit. What you are seeing on screen right now is the rating and comparison of this PD4 Plus against the rest of the competition. And all of them are running on dual Cyrus Logic CS43131 series. There's so many of them. And this is not even all of them, okay? 
So let's just have a look at this PD4 plus first, compare directly with this PD4. Okay. And I would definitely say that this PD4 plus is an improvement over what was already a great sounding PD4. In particular, one of the key things which I like to highlight is that the way it presents the sound. Like I mentioned earlier, this PD4 is something which I would consider as mature sounding as compared to this PD4. A bit more of an lock hint to the sound itself. And I have yet to mention that the most prominent improvement over PD4 is this volume adjustment here. Now, this PD4 Plus comes with independent volume adjustment, 60 step, all right? I would have preferred something like 100 step, but I'll make do with 60 step. That is a definitive improvement. About the only thing which I would say that, you know, this PD4 does better is the power drain on the horse itself. As for the rest of the competition, just pause the screen and have a look at the total score rating. How close do they compete between each other? Another important element, timber signature, or simply put, sound signature of this Aklium PD4+. Plus. As you can see there, analog in green on the left side, and on the right side, hi-fi in blue. And where does this PD4 Plus stand? Somewhere right in the middle there. Still edging closer to hi-fi sound, but at least it improved a bit, and it improved one step from Aklium PD4. And that is how it looked like for the rest of the competition with iBaso DC04 Pro still being the most analog sounding among all of them. I must say that I am impressed with what Aklium have achieved with this PD4+. Plus. You see here, this PD4, which was released earlier, was already a great performing dongle, great sounding dongle on top of it. The most important thing being is that Aklium listened to feedback Aklium listened to the consumer and they work hard on improving what was already a great longer. And now we have PD4+. Plus. The most prominent improvement to me personally is the independent volume adjustment. And on top of that, the improvement on the way it presents the sound. Less aggression, a bit more of maturity and analog sound. So I really love all those things. So it is so very easy for me to recommend right now if you want something which is Mature, analytical, detailed, powerful, Aklium PD4 Plus is an easy recommendation at the price of not exceeding 80 US dollar.